Hi, this is Janet Smith, and I'm here just to give you a quick demo of how you can upload PDF and other files into your Koala Go whiteboard. So first I would open my Koala Go, and it usually will open to a workbook that I was last working on, and if there's nothing on the workbook page, it's going to be a blank white page like this. So when you want to upload a file, go down to this upload icon and select and then pick the file. And this is a PDF activity file and hit open. And you can add it as an image or a slide. The image gives you a little more control. So it's a good choice for a lot of worksheets. Once it's uploaded, you can resize it, make it bigger or smaller using the wheel. So that's really handy because if I want to make it a little bit bigger in order to see the directions with the student. And then this video requires underlining the correct form of two. So if you enable your student to have control, they can pick with their pencil tool. They can change the color if they'd like, and then they can start selecting the correct answer by underlining it. So I'm going to the store. I want some ice cream too. And you can work through your worksheet page like that. Uh, if they want to undo, hit the little undo button, or they can use the eraser. So if you have a worksheet that requires filling in blanks, I brought one up here that we have to do that. At first, at the top, you would have to use the text tool again to connect each of these words with their correct definition. And if you hold the Shift key down, you can make a nice straight line, which is nice. And then when we're ready to type in a word, to select the typing tool and place the cursor where you want to start typing. And just do that. And it's so easy to do right in the whiteboard um, to do everything you need to do in Koala Go, which makes it really convenient. Now let's say you want to upload an image file of the game board so you can play a game with your student. So again, I would go to Upload. This time I'm uploading this image file of the game board. And I'm going to add this as a slide this time because that fixes it onto the background of your whiteboard and then it doesn't move around, which is probably convenient if you have a game you want to play. And just for the sake of time, I'll make a few sticky notes to use as game pieces. Uh, change the color so that you can tell the difference. Okay, so you have your game pieces here. And then you need a die. So if you have a student in the room, right now I don't have a student, but I'm going to pretend to invite one. And once a student is in the room, my camera failed because I'm probably taping, so I uh, normally the video would show up on the side here and the student's video shows up on the side. But there are some tools here including a dice you can bring down to roll so that you can take turns on the game that you upload. So it's really a great feature that you have in Qualigo. So hopefully that gives you some good ideas of how easy it is to upload PDF files, any of those activity sheets, or anything you create. 
Uh, you can also upload PowerPoint files as well as images like this game board or anything else that you would like to have in the whiteboard for the purpose of teaching your student.